This from CBSSports.com's Ryan Wilson, their national NFL guy, ranking every team's draft class. Uh, drafts that left me wanting more. Um, he goes Browns. Uh, they were number 29 overall, grade B minus. It's because they didn't have a whole lot of picks. Favorite pick, Michael Hall Jr., twitched up defensive lineman, consistently disruptive. If he learns to play with lower pad level, good luck stopping him. Best value, Juwan Briggs. Plays with a nonstop motor, is stout at the point of attack, moves well laterally, and he complements Michael Hall Jr.'s style. Most surprising pick, thought they took Zach Zinter a little early, but I get it. When he's healthy, he's a starter. Um, and taking him in the middle of the third round instead of the fourth is worth it for a player you love. Well, Tim, I like the pick of Zinter. They didn't have a fourth-round pick, so they went from three to five, and I think Zinter eventually, as you said, I think he's a starter. I, you know, he's a guy, before he got hurt, you know, you knew who Zach Zinter was on that Michigan offensive line. You knew when he was run blocking who he was blocking. Yeah, I mean, he was the heart and soul of that Michigan offensive line. All you have to do is, you know, think about the reaction in the stadium, you know, when he got injured in that game against Ohio State. He had 100,000-plus people chanting, let's go, Zach. So that's how... That's how much he meant, I think, to that entire team as kind of the captain of that offensive line. And that offensive line was arguably the best in college football over the last couple of seasons. Borderline NFL type of offensive line, just with how physical they were, how strong they were, how they just seemed like they outmuscled everybody at the point of attack. Zinser is definitely a pick, I think, for 2025 and beyond for sure. Maybe he gets into games this year because, you know, your guys are always going to get banged up, especially on the offensive line. And you, you know, just. You may need him out there for a handful of snaps or even a couple starts, depending on, you know, injury situations. We know Joel Batonio missed a little bit of time this year. But with Batonio and Wyatt Teller getting older, this it was a smart move to make. And I think, you know, with that draft grade as well, just being, you know, 29th, like you said, there's really only so much they can do. The Browns didn't have a top 50 pick. They were the last team to make a pick for the first time. And two top 150 picks, there's only so much you can do. So in that situation, you're just hoping to find good value and, and guys you hope you can develop going forward. Yeah, and if um, lower pad level, the, the, the criticism they have of Michael Hall, the guys that are playing with him, the veterans, they're going to show him exactly some of the tricks of that.